What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Blasphemy Mass Debate. It's your host, your favorite deacon of the weekend, Cody G here. And today we're going to objectively resolve <coughs> COVID customs, codes, and celebration. But first off, let's meet our panelists. What's good, John? What's going on, Cody? How you feeling? Feeling all right, man. What's good, Trav? Trav on the drums. What up, though? And look out for our special guest, the stand-up comedian, gonna be at Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase, November 20th and 21st, Christian Royce. What's good? Starting off with a Croix upgraded to whiskey. What's good? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. All right, so everybody, you know, we, we all go to a round or two, but with this COVID, it's kind of hard to get out nowadays. So my question is, should we stop tipping for carry-out orders already? Royce, what's your opinion on this, man? You cheap-ass niggas. How? <laughs> Why is this even a question? Nah, why is this even a question though? Like, we are, we're in the middle of a pandemic. People are already struggling to eat as it is. And like, y'all talk about, I don't know if I want to give up an extra $2 for no. this Chinese. Like, that's, a, that's some nigga shit. Come on, y'all. Like, no, I, I, no. are we really that broke right now? Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, no, nah, because I, I mean, are, aren't the people buying it broke too? Like, you, like you, you struggling too, but it's like, all right, now if I come here and I go to a fucking Dollar Tree, then they got another thing who's like, you want to also give me a dollar? And I'm like, wait, I'm just buying the thing. Thank but, thank like, you didn't you do talk. a service anymore. And now it's just like, you, I, you got to also give you money free money because it's hard times, but it's hard. How do you know it's not hard times for me? So you okay. just, it's some bullshit, you, in my opinion. Okay, okay. you yeah, could've cooked. I mean, There's like, <laughs> no, you, you got 20 <laughs> packs of ramen noodles sitting in your house right now, fam. And you mad because you can't spend an extra couple bucks. Come on now. Look, man, look, bro. It's, uh, I understand we're all going through hard times here. You know, we all got shit to do really, but at the end of the day, we don't really need to pay those extra couple of dollars, bro. Like. For a carry out, I can understand dining in, bro. What you're talking about, carry? I've never for what, like, if I order food and go pick it up, like, why would I ever tip for that? I understand because you're bringing me food those and you're cleaning up my table. Exactly. It's, nah, bro, they don't need. They don't need it, bro. They really don't. What do you mean they don't need it? It's just because my company I mean, don't want to pay me like money. Me they don't need it, bro. And then they judge you what type of way. How do they not need it though? How do they not need it? Because bro, they they already every restaurant has already increased their prices due to COVID. Like we're already paying an upcharge. Because they try to for pay this the bullshit, rent, and now bro. they want an additional how, tip. Like McDonald's is it? asking for tips, bro. I'm not fucking about the tips. Is it McDonald's? Niggas, asking for? How do they? Bro, they so how do they need much. it more than the they're average patron much. walking in there? Though I feel like why, why do you? If I, I see like at, at random restaurant, like random place that never had it before. Like you go in a grocery store. And they want you to tip them, and it's like the way. No, this don't make any sense. Where they ask you to tip at a grocery store? They do. They they ask you to tip. Where? Where? The, where? Farm, the <laughs> farmer jack. The farmer jack up the street. Farmer uh, farmer jack it don't even exist no more. What you mean farmer jack? If you believe it, you can see it. But no, I, I just think like I feel like it's, it'd be places that that ain't never asked you to tip before. Now they're like COVID's going on, so now you should tip us. Yeah. And I'm like, why? Why, why do you think time. you are on harder times than the person that's buying the things? I could still just want the same taco that I got from the same place, but it's like okay, yeah. but if you can spare it, if you can spare it, yeah. But niggas would just be like, nah, you shouldn't have to tip at all. Like, come, why can't you just make the it's taco, a five, taco cost more? It's a make five dollar tip. More. It's a $5 okay, first it, was against, first it was against making the food cost more. Now, now you for making the food cost more. I Bro, mean, it's I, a five dollar oh, fill up. Not he does a $5 have a point. Plus mandatory gratuity, nigga. Like exactly. I'm not it's not like first of all, I already don't like got a tip thing. Now. First of all, I already don't like tipping. McDonald's ain't got no stop it. And they don't even stop give it, it. to McDonald's the. I don't, I don't trust that they give it to the people. It's gonna be like yeah, I don't need it. Like four percent of the shit goes to the person. So like you get an extra bump of like thirty seven cents on your check. But it's like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like everybody just making a tip thing. And it's like, I don't know there, how there much is. worse you're doing off right now. Not everybody's I, doing way, way worse it's off. It's very selfish. I'm, I'm, very I'm selfish still upset that you said McDonald's had tipping thing. I'm a fat nigga. I got some chicken nuggets the other day. I ain't seen nothing about no tip. They got I ain't this seen nothing about the front, right? Where you come with the coins, but that might not be for the workers. But still, what restaurant do you know is going to close What restaurant do you know is going to close if they don't get tips? Like, what restaurant you ever heard of that closed because they didn't get tips? Exactly. None of them, bro. I think they, like, they have a menu oh, price. They them. price their menu so these, accordingly. These restaurants are shutting down, dude. Yeah, because they don't want to pay these niggas. They don't want to. That, that, that's one of those not my problem. We all struggling. How come y'all just get to, like, what if I just work at a regular, what if I work at the factory? I don't got no kind of thing where I'm like, now I want more money. Y'all just got this if little thing. Yo, if right. anything, you're selfish for wanting more money. Because, like, everybody else exactly. is, everybody else is not in. 
Y'all selfish for wanting more money because everybody else in yeah, position it's killing, it's, can't get it's killing communities. It's more killing money. communities because yeah, everybody else thirty thousand a year. We selfish want more money because everybody else in position if you're, can't if your customers just demand are being more money. Charge more money. It's like if your customers are being charged mm. more money, you're gonna prevent them from spending money at your place. Like if all of a sudden my favorite, if my favorite thing I get from you is six dollars, but now all of a sudden because it's COVID, you've increased it to eight dollars, and I gotta tip you. It's like, bro, I'm not coming back. I used to come back once a week. If you're that strapped, like you should eat out anyway, though. Exactly. Yo, you can't just hit us with- Why? Who are you to tell me where I should eat at? Yeah, who what if I'm hungry? To, how are you to tell me that I'm greedy for what? My money! I just feel like it's a- it, Both y'all niggas just said that! I feel like they're just running- they're, I feel like bro. they're just extorting at this point. Cause like, I feel like you just hit exactly. us with- Exactly. They extort- Yeah, cause you, you just hit us with- all, rep, Restaurants all over Chicago are shutting down, but we extorting. We yeah, because you, you, you just know it's, no, like, but, it's like the homeless guy that's like, oh, I was I was a veteran. I served in Nam. Give me my like. I don't give a fuck about, about what you did, bro. No, I really, no, I, I really just, don't. I don't know about. Okay, that. Yo, don't fucking well, say you don't give a fuck. Don't say that we stingy. Don't say that we just you know. You're definitely run stingy. Like, like how, while you're hurting, how it's like two poor niggas like being like, bro, I know you poor as fuck. You as poor as me, but. Let, let me get some extra that money off of you. Job, let me get though. some extra money off you. You want to take for the business, but you don't want to help it keep it afloat. You want to raise the Your restaurant, the your restaurant closed because you had shitty food. Huh? Your restaurant closed because you had shitty food. You probably had shitty service. You probably didn't have good waitress. Right waiters now, and waiters during COVID? Drinks probably suck. Yes, that's right why you're sharing and staying afloat. The, the most like, popping yeah, restaurants have been popping. The popping restaurants have been popping. This COVID shit ain't changed nothing for them. McDonald's. Still rocking, Arby's still rocking. McDonald's like, is like, you, ain't got you can't clothes. shut down McDonald's. McDonald's is open on Christmas. You can't closed. shut them down if you not cry. No, I don't think it's because the, the food is garbage, but I, I'm, I gotta separate myself with you with, the, with talking about the homeless people thing because I don't agree with the homeless. I think like my thing is the fact that you you guys are able to extort because you're able to say we're we're a service position, so give us more money. There's hella other jobs who are not able to say tip us who are just like like a worker who like the people working out like just working because on stuff and they can't actual... they can't even request tips this one you got a jar right in the front and then it's it's like make you do the puppy dog eyes and not feel bad for me but the purpose person coming in there he probably is like, might not be a service worker and he's just got to give you money anyways but with the homeless person because, we're not we're because, not on the same level because as the homeless person, else is working. The, the only people really affected by the shutdown are the people working the food service industry. That's why they need help. And that's why they ask it for help. You know the factory workers talking about talking about, oh, should they need more money? They have reduced hours. Like because their hours ain't reduced like that. Ooh, they have like that's two a personal weeks problem. Like I don't need to come up. We're all hurting. <laughs> We're all hurting right now. Like I'm not all of us. off of no extra bread. Yeah. It's because you feel like you hurting more than I am. You think of a grocery store right. nigga walks you think of a grocery store nigga You think of a grocery store nigga walks into a restaurant there. and then he says I don't want to tip there. Why are you like, there? Oh, huh? Nah, go back to Jonathan. Why are you there? If you're mad, you don't want to tip and shit. Why are you there? I'm already there. I'm so you're I'm already supporting your struggling business by fucking coming here because I <laughs> you're I'm a regular of your customer. Like I, I love your pizza, whatever it is. But now you finna just use me? I'm I'm keeping your business. Who's you? I think what we need like, is is that is that on is that on your the bosses or is that on 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 us? Because I feel like that's like they making the money. Yeah, they they, they still eating. They they still. I mean, it seems I like it's time story. to get to the final word here. This is a close uh, matchup. So uh, Chris, man, pop it off, man. What what's your final word? Take it home. I ain't gonna lie. This was a personal topic because as a person, I used to wait tables in Chicago. I used to hate why I got black tables because them niggas so tip for shit and they ask for the most shit. So it may not, what I say may not even apply that much to carry up, but I will say this, like restaurants in particular are struggling right now. So you should do what you can, you should do what you can, you should do what you can to help them out. You know what I mean? Right. Give a little extra, make sure they can stay afloat when there is coming. Everything about to be shut down because Corona's going to carry higher with the flu. Like these numbers are only going to go up. A lot of these businesses are going to get shut down. So, you know, don't be stingy. You know, don't don't be worried about it. Just give what you can. Help somebody out. Be on your way. Wise words from a wise man. Okay, so, uh, Trav, bro, what's your final word, man? Mm, yeah, no, I feel like Nick, everybody's struggling to just be like, these niggas are the one nigga struggling. And to for a carry out, like, carry out is not, not even a service thing. You didn't do nothing for me. So, like, you're kind of extorting everybody to, to do that shit. So, like. I think you. It's about. It's high time they 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 got theirs now 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 now. I cut it out a little bit, but yeah, no, it's yeah, it's over. That's some deep shit. And uh, John, man, what's your final word, man? Mop it up. 
these establishments need to take their sob stories elsewhere. If you're employed by one of these trash organizations that's not going to increase your pay when you're out there risking your life, then that's your decision. You took the risk. You out there working in them streets. That's what you want to do. That's what you got to do. So be it. There's like if you're a football player, concussions come with the prop or come, come with the territory. If you're a waiter, <laughs> waitress, tipping and not tipping comes with the territory. And extra tipping, blasphemous, bro. They need to be out here on this show. It's completely blasphemous, and uh, it's time to stop that extra tipping stuff. We all it, COVID's been going on for too long. It's just about to end anyway. Hopefully, cut it out. It's not even real. So. <laughs> okay, and uh, all right, so. It seems for this round, no, we should not stop tipping for carryout orders already. And the round goes to our boy Royce here. Racism. That's racism. That's pure racism. Well, right, now, just, <laughs> now, we all get Post tickets tip. here and there, and uh, it's starting to really piss me off. But my question is, are meter maids the lowest form of scum, or should we all know better? Trav, bro, bring this one in. Uh, yeah, I mean... Rules have always, since the dawn of time, been rules. Like, you got, like, 35 signs on the street saying, fire lane, don't park here past 12. If you park here past 12, you got to park sideways. And if you don't park sideways, we going to pop your tires. Like, it's rules have always been rules, caveman days. And it's just like, yeah, you, 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 you're you mad because you don't want to follow the rules. Wait, it, it's, it's 2 in the morning. I got to fucking find some place to park. And shit, and then uh, it's no parking on my block. There's five feet of snow, and this block is like you have to have permit number seven nine three one to park on this block. But there's five empty parking spots. Get the f I'm pulling up in that bitch, and if you want to fucking tow me, bro, you gonna have to see me, cause that's some bullshit, man. Like you gonna pull up for the tow man? Oh, yeah, bro. We you gonna pull up for the tow man? They stay Dog. strapped, nigga. Like no, exactly. I, feel like, I mean, I, I, I get what you feeling, but you don't, you don't want, you don't want to catch a fade from the, from the, from the fuck, from the fucking uh, toe man, bro. Right. The nigga right. fights for real. Ass. The toe man, exactly. the, the fucking repo man, man did me so up. dirty, though. He, he fight toe man, he so dirty. <laughs> you gonna get your ass toe, toe up? <laughs> you gonna get your ass toe up, boy, for real? I was in a boot. I was in a walking boot, and I had to move a TV into my girl's apartment. And I fucking moved the TV in there, take a shit, come out. They towed my car, bro. And I was in a walking boot. They was lurking on me. I was in Damn. a walking boot. That's what they bro. do. They lurk. Well, that, bro, they they didn't like that. Exactly. Before. There's some bitch ass niggas. Commission. Who put you in that, right. walk? Who put you in that walking Who put you in that walking boot, though? Some hoes. The repair man, man. <laughs> the tow man, man, man. Fuck <laughs> the, 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 the repo man. This is a repo man. It's private property. It's private property. You're not going to just. All I know is, I'll say this, Jonathan. You are a man. And a man is supposed to know where the fuck he's supposed to park at any given moment. Well, how, how old is he? How old is he? 23, 24, 25? 29, man. I know how to get him. 29? You a grown ass He head. old as hell. I don't give a fuck <laughs> at, at that. <laughs> yo, he man. old yo, as hell. Yo, in Chicago? Come on, bro. Should, you know how this shit go in Chicago? Nice, sir. You know how that shit go in Chicago. Them the, the most bitch ass meter men you will ever see in your life, bro. Them niggas like. Thrive off of negative energy and they thrive. Do you know, off of you know who used to be, you know who used to be a tow man? Do you know who used to be a tow man? Probably you. Barack Obama. Kimbo Probably Slice. you. Kimbo Slice used to be a tow man before he got in the fuck backyard fight. So he used to run niggas like you and <laughs> fuck you up. You, uh, you, would, you would not disagree with a uh, tow, uh, like a Wasn't ticket. Wasn't he on Kimbo that Slice. towing show? Kimbo what was Slice that towing was, show. <laughs> Kimbo uh, Slice. Kimbo Slice one Kim really even nothing, bro. If, if, if you were in the car, if you were sitting in the car with it in in park, Kimbo Slice could, could put a ticket on your shit, and you would not even disagree with him. You wouldn't even uh, back your If I had the llama, if I had the llama on me, I'll say Kimbo Slice ain't shit. Kimbo Slice is the nigga you need the llama. He'll give you a two for right, like two tickets right there. You wouldn't even open your door. You wouldn't even roll your window down. The size of your whole head, but Kimbo Slice ain't shit. A lot of times, a lot of times the the meter people, like the parking people, that tow your ass, it don't be necessarily the streets it'd be like a private shit like you and Kroger or whatever like that and somebody's like don't tow your shit so like if you were at your crib would you be cool with just somebody parking in your driveway and like I, I'm here now like you a whole ass nigga if you if you want to move my car I'm here now no but there, there's consequences so what you gonna run up if on you them? talking about city streets and, and, and neighborhood streets bro ain't no that's motherfucking that's been claimed already that's been city. claimed already that's there's been no, claimed there's already. no meter men in the fucking suburbs when you have a fucking driveway what are you talking about if the city says only people that have the green sticker can park here, and you roll up in there with your brown sticker having ass and park there anyway. <laughs> you are going against the law. Exactly. 
the first nigga that lands on the moon, the moon, or like, yeah, the moon is his. And whoever lands on Mars, Mars is mine. Don't park here, or you gonna nigga, get a ticket. Play? Nigga, so the same thing, like, the white man came over, the, the white man, Christopher Columbus came over. He's like, oh, this is mine now. So he's like, all right, these streets are mine now. If you park here, you uh, have 45 down, years. Down, 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 down. We're going to wrap this up, and we're going to get straight to this final word. So, uh, Royce, man, what's your final word on this, man? My final word is you're a grown-ass man. Watch where you park or pay the cost. Don't do the, don't do the crime if you can't do the time, nigga. Don't do it. Now, Boy, like the, is he from Chicago, too? Lori Lightfoot, go get your ass. Ooh. Trying to tell you. Fuck 12. Fuck 12, nigga. Fuck 12, <laughs> fuck you. Fuck <laughs> Okay, and uh, that was a nigga to nigga moment right there. And uh, John, man, what's your final word, man? This might be the bring home. You stupid meter maid people, listen to me. Look at me. Listen up. Look me dead in my eyes. You fucking suck. You're the worst person, people ever on this goddamn earth. You know how many people's days and lives you ruin? So take a look in your back lot. Look in your fucking toll out right now. Look at all those cars. Those are how many people's lives you personally fuck. And you're too you're too pussy of it to have probably done it to their face. You're probably waiting for them. Oh, this guy's gonna get out of his car and think he can just run and grab his food real quick. Man, man, man. <laughs> man Take man, it, man. fucking lame ass nigga. Get a fucking job. Get a real job. Get a life and stop lurking on these corners and giving niggas tickets, bro. That shit's whack. All right, that was a pretty aggressive uh, final word. I think the most aggressive we've had on the show. And uh, all right, Travis, man, what's your final word? Mop it up. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, no, uh, no, yeah, no, no. I, I checked our analytics and we don't have any meter maids watching our shit. So I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. Like, but uh, I just think if you go to a country and you like, all right, this country's mine now, that includes the streets. And once you say these streets are mine, you could say, uh, if you park on these streets, you owe me 45 to 100 bucks if we determine that it's for the handy capable. But, uh, yeah, so... Why are you so Uncle Ruckus about these parking tickets? I'm not. I'm just saying. If you park in my driveway, <laughs> if you park in my driveway, I'm up in the llama off you off rip and to say back up. So it's just like... <laughs> You're not going to park into uh, the city courthouse and be like, oh, The white yeah. man owns this land. <laughs> this land is your land. This land is my land. <laughs> So yeah, I mean that's it's okay. Been like that I, the whole I felt time. the energy. I felt the energy on that final boat, word. And boat. uh no, meter maids are not the lowest form of scum. You should definitely know better. And the round goes to Trav. You already know. You already now, know. Now everybody has a, a favorite holiday. You got what? Halloween? Christmas? Sweeties Day? Come on, bro. There's a whole bunch of shit out there, man. There's a whole bunch of holidays. Too many to celebrate. We don't even get them all off. But my question is, should Thanksgiving be canceled? John, man, what's your take on this, bro? Cancel the fuck out of Thanksgiving. Think about the, like, ever since you was a kid in elementary school, you're cutting out turkeys, you are you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, you, you, you're looking at pictures of, of uh, gourds and squash and this big old feast with the pilgrims and the Indians. That shit was a fucking massacre. It was did complete you have annihilation me, you have of a people. Out the turkey. Yeah, like yeah, you said, this land is your land. land. You have this land that is turkey. my land. It's genocide day. Happy genocide day. Happy. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people don't care about that shit. Yeah, I don't care about that shit. As a fat nigga, I'm saying we get two big ass meals a year: Thanksgiving and Christmas. And for you to suggest that you should cut one of them offends me deep. Deep to my soul. I know that food Cody sucks. agrees with me as another kind of thing, nigga. We sucks. need two big meals a year. Damn it. Exactly. Like, no, yeah, no, Thanksgiving, no, Thanksgiving is fire. I feel like it, this is bigger than you or me. I feel like it's like, okay, there were some bad things that happened that caused it, but the fact that it's here now is now it's like, all right, family gets together and the family eats good food. Like, For a week. I, they didn't even have baked mac and cheese. You think they had ham hocks and greens and shit like that back in the day where the, the Native Americans was met up with the pilgrims? No. Like, so they were eating corn they had a country and a custom and lands and teepees, but yet here come these fucking savages. These conquistadors on their boats on the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria, and the Mayflower, and they just like came over. How they wanted to and rename. raped and pillaged their way into a holiday. Then they brainwashed the whole country into celebrating this day for years and years and years. It's like, all right, bro, we ain't gonna get them this Thursday. We ain't but gonna that, get them next Thursday. Next Thursday, smallpox Thursday. 
Everybody. Yeah, but that's dude. that's Send like how they said that, that we, they want to change Columbus Day to and they want to change Columbus Day to Indigenous People Day. So it's like if at least change the like change the narrative, but to say to cancel it means don't get together with your family. And I feel like that's that's more hurtful than helpful. I'm saying why why we gotta cancel a bomb ass meal day? Exactly. Like, it's like what? Why yeah, do we have to pay the price? Food is trash. Especially black folks, we had nothing to do with the shit. Exactly. Thanksgiving food is trash. Turkey is not that good, but the sides and ham. But the, ham the dressing is good. and the, the ham is good. The, the green bean cheese. casserole. The sweet potato pie. Green bean casserole. Oh, you mix. The sweet get your turkey. Pie. Get your turkey from green- Popeyes. I'm not lying. Cajun style turkey you from get Popeyes. Last, nigga. Every year. He's trying to put a bar. He's said from Popeyes. I'm not lying. Turkey from Popeyes. Popeyes. Niggas. From Popeyes. Green bean casserole. From Popeyes. Y'all need this shit. And green bean casserole slap. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Green that shit slap. Y'all ain't never had. Boy, this nigga said green bean casserole. Come on, bro. <laughs> yes, this shit fire. is trash. That shit you gonna eat some green bean casserole, casserole at seven o'clock in the morning? No, nigga, you going to Chick Fil A? Seven o'clock. Who eats Thanksgiving at seven o'clock in the morning? Who eats? Yeah, who eat? Nigga, hold on, Josh. I'm it don't matter. What kind of household no, you, you grew said, up in, bro? You said Thanksgiving food smacks was me. You should be able to eat it at any time, but you can't because that's you do bad. throughout the rest of the week after Thanksgiving. But that don't mean that you go straight you to the green bean casserole. You don't wake casserole. up thinking like, oh, I'm gonna heat up this green bean casserole. You're gonna be like, I you're like right. This sweet potato. Yeah, what I do? I take a big ass bowl. I put some stuffing, some mac and cheese, some yams, and a little bit of turkey in. Stick it in, mash it up, put it in the microwave for about 45 seconds. Boom, that's a meal. I eat that three times a day for the fuck three you days. Geriatric what kind of high powered ass micro- like, microwave you got? <laughs> my, my microwave would take at least like four minutes to make that shit. <laughs> nigga, my, my, my oh, microwave dead. power in the Hulk. Get radiation, nigga. It's good for bro, the you don't, even, you don't even put you don't even put marshmallows on your yams, bro. You don't even put marshmallows on your shit, bro. Y'all shit, mm-hmm. y'all Thanksgiving food trash. Thanksgiving food is easily the worst. Like first of all, my mama from have... the south. Don't talk shit about my Thanksgiving food, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, marshmallows on your sweet potatoes. My mama from GA. Thanksgiving don't even got a movie. Christmas got a movie. Halloween got a movie. Valentine's Day got a movie. Martin Luther King Day got a movie. But Thanksgiving got a Thanksgiving, got Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving had a movie. Indian in the cupboard. Indian in the cupboard. Indian in the cupboard. And Spider-Man. Indian in the cupboard. 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 Two movies. Yeah, Pocahontas, Spider- yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, they were murdering the motherfuckers that, 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 that was pretty small pox. Pocahontas is a sad story. Pocahontas is a, is a story of another brown guess. girl with a fat ass leaving her whole country behind for a white man. That's a tragic like this, tale. Avatar the no, sequel. Thanksgiving, <laughs> the Thanksgiving has more murder and blood based around it than Halloween does. Like, it's it's a step. Uh, it's Halloween part two in this bitch. It's not Halloween part two. It's pre-game Christmas. That's what they say. No, it's it. not. Yes, it Look, is. You no, it's a not. practice meal, and then you go and do your Christmas shopping literally the day no. after. Thanksgiving it's is Halloween pre-game all Christmas. Over again. Okay, so uh, we're going to get to the final word here. And uh, Trav, man, pop it off, man. What's your final word? Yeah, I mean, I feel like just because something stemmed in bad don't mean it's got to be bad. Like, it, it's it. that's what it was, but then now nah, this is what it is. Now, nah, like, we, a lot of shit, like, Nick, the hard ER stemmed into the, to the, to the soft A, to the A, you know what I'm saying? So, like, Nigga would have never popped off had 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 the e- hard ER would have happened. So like saying we should cancel Thanksgiving is like saying everybody in an instant should not be able to say go with all my watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Nigga, 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 nigga. You nigga, know? nigga. All nigga. right, and uh, Royce, man, what's your final word, man? Pick it up. My final word is that I'm poor. I'm a poor millennial, and every year around this time in November, I go to my grandmama's house. I eat well. Not only do I eat well. My mama buys Tupperware so I can take a bag mm. home back to Chicago just full of just full of goodies and stuffing and mac and cheese. And I'm eating for like a good solid week and a half off that shit because I'm broke. I haven't had a home cooked meal in weeks. So for you to say we should cancel Thanksgiving, I say fuck you, fuck your morals. <laughs> Fuck your lifestyle and fuck no way. The F is not for phenomenal. I need that meal. We keep it Thanksgiving. Thank you. God bless the United States of America. <laughs> and your mom. And your mom. I enjoy, I enjoy <laughs> my final word. Wait, I said keep our meal. He's talking about his, his mom's Mexican. I, was agree, I agree with you the whole time. What? I'm never gonna be the one to to condone genocide and and racism and uh, conquistadors 
not the word. Conquistadors. Bro. Conquistadors. 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 Watch out for them conquistadors, bro. They'll get you every time. No, Thanksgiving should never be canceled. And the round goes to Royce. Man, you ain't got the special guest. Like, the special <laughs> guest, man. You're, you're the winner of this episode of Blasphemous Debate, man. What you want to tell the viewers, man? Go ahead with your shout out. 15 seconds of fame, whatever. Uh, 15 seconds. All I got is 15 seconds. I bet. Um, Doja Cat is trash. Doja Cat is trash. Um, Alicia Keys should bring the braids back. Um, damn. Um, Kellogg should bring s'more cereal back and Scooby Doo cereal. Um. Dave Chappelle's a new goat, and uh, yeah, come see Damn. me in Ann Arbor at the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase at, on, on, on November 20th and the 21st. All right, plug, plug see your y'all. podcast too. Plug your podcast too. Yeah. Plug my podcast. Look out for the podcast starring me, starring me and Ty Riggs called Live from the DMs. We go take all the DMs from the, from our favorite bad bitches, and we go read them off. And uh, we gonna laugh at you ugly niggas. So thank y'all. All right, see ya. Bye, <laughs> right, man. Peace Take out, man. care, bro. All right. So today for this episode, we have learned: no, you should not stop tipping for carryout orders. No, meter maids are not the lowest form of scum. And lastly, Thanksgiving should never be canceled. And as your favorite deacon of the weekend, always say, Amen. Amen. <laughs>